Uh -oh, All right, she's dynamic. already called a character. Did you just call me a character? Oh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah. She's a cube. I thought it was normal. No, you're good. Um, good to see you again. Great. Happy know, New Year. Happy New Year. John. Great to see you, Cube alumni. So, so uh, thanks for coming. I know you got to go. You. You gotta I go do. On I got to quick. So just, speak and run. Just a couple quick uh, comments. Obviously, at VMworld, it's on Silicon Angle TV. Great interview with Jay Shri around. In depth, deep dive, rapid fire questions, the good stuff. But here we got a quick sound bite. Node.js really talks about you know I/O, real time web, developer communities robust. That's the application side of the business. Applications exploding. Front end developers need to get a little smarter and do a little yeah. more back end capabilities. It does that. Um, computers, smartphones are all hard. CPUs growing, more power, but the network. Yeah. It's the network. Behind it's the scenes. It's TCP IP. It's go. all that magic and. It needs to be kind of rethought through, and you guys are doing that. So, what's your stance with the Node.js community? Share with us your your views, networking. Yeah, I'm beat. excited to be here because I think we're turning networking upside down, right? If you look at most of what we did the last two decades in networking, it was connect the dots. And now, to your point, we're really collect connecting applications and tuning the applications better to the network and better to the devices, which is you know, a different way of looking at the whole problem because we have to better now understand the behavior of the applications and tune the, make the network more application aware and vice versa. So that's a very different way. Now you add to that the fact that, you know, the enterprise IT is really changing from a cost center to the, the, the buzzword, the cloud, but really there's the tech cloud for financials, there's the web 2.0 cloud, then there's the actual cloud, cloud providers, the public providers. And so there are really different forms of private, public, and hybrid clouds emerging. And I'm proud to say that Arista smack in the middle of these exciting technologies, and uh, it's well, good I to be say, back with you again. I can say I've, I've seen some of the most emerging companies in the cloud, and I've seen stacks of your boxes, and I know they're not cheap, um, so the smart money's buying Arista right now. Cost effective, so yeah, cost not cheap, effective, yeah. uh, not inexpensive. Very valuable, but you know the smart money's buying Arista. So why? Why is Arista so there and others aren't relative to the making the network go faster for the I/O intensive infrastructure? I think the secret crown jewel in Arista is not just that we're high performance transactions and low latencies, lower power, low footprint, and all of the good stuff, but really our software, the extensible OS. When you don't build a software ground up with the automatic self-healing and resilience and open a APIs that you can tune the applications, then, then you really build a closed system and it's difficult to make that agile for different environments. So I think the excitement uh, in our platform is not just the feeds and speeds, but really powering this with the right software enablement. So I saw you talking to Theo in there who's yeah. got an opinion about <laughs> What's going on? Theo's in the been trying to buy our boxes, and apparently we didn't respond. I got to fix that. <laughs> but you know, the word here has been abstraction layer, abstractions, and yeah. abstracting away complexities. You're not a stranger to this notion of no. abstracting away complexities in the networking yeah. business. Yeah. What should these developers be thinking about when they hear the word abstraction? I think one of the key pieces of an abstraction layer really depends on how you build the software to deal with state. For example, you can have, in a networking element, you can have thousands of agents, and if they all have to interact with each other through message passing or conventional methods, you have single points of choke, and, f and, and that's a real issue. But if, in fact, you have, like we do with our software, a system database that's really machine-generated and is state-oriented and can understand the interaction between everyone and everything, you know, there's the layer of abstraction right there, because you can have any-to-any -any abstraction in a very simple yet scalable fashion. And this can apply to 10 nodes, 100 nodes, 1,000 nodes, 10,000 nodes. So um, what's your take of Node Summit, Node.js? I mean, what's the vibe here? What are you, what are you feeling? It's a lot of energy. I expected January to be sort of a slow you know, start. It's, it's just the beginning of the year. But uh, I'm impressed with the, both the caliber, uh, the depth of technology, and the different industries that are represented. I, I, I didn't realize there's so much action and buzz going on, so I'm <laughs> looking forward to being a part of it. Jay Shri, thank you very much. The CEO of Arista Networks, great company, changing the game in networking, which we know needs a lot of work to keep up on the app side, this explosion of back end and real time processing. Thank you for coming on theCUBE. I know you got to go and do your talk. Yeah, great to see you Always a pleasure. We'll thank see you, John. We'll see you in the future. Absolutely. Uh, we'll be right back with more interviews in five minutes.